Huh. You know, this is a lot of moving pebbles, if you ask me, because when I glanced over to see how our Alberta tortoises were doing, the answer, I think, is extremely well, because there's suddenly a lot of them. I just swear these things breed like rabbits! Oh, and speaking of rabbits, now that I think of it, we don't have any rabbits in our Planet Zoo adventures just yet, do we, friends? Hmm, I wonder if that might be hopping into a, a future adventure that we could do. Uh, but for now, I have some news to share with you guys! And no, it isn't about the Arid Pack, even though I am very excited about the announcement of the Arid Pack coming to the Planet Zoo DLC library in just a couple weeks now, which is going to be very exciting because it's going to add sand cats and also it's going to have spitting camels. I warned you guys. I warned you guys about those camels. <sighs> I am... I am... Never going to know why llamas and camels hate me. But I have accepted my fate as their spitting target. No matter where I have traveled in the world, no matter how far away I am from a llama, it will whip its head around and it will try to spit at me. Chips thought I was lying, and then he saw it in action. So, not really looking forward to the spitting llamas, but I am looking forward to continuing to better our pixel sanctuary, which to be fair, I, I, I kind of was feeling like, oh, maybe we aren't making that much progress. And I stared in despair at this puddle for quite a long time, just staring into its depths and trying to think about, but what can we do to bring forth the greenery heart that I want to be here in our pixel sanctuary? And the answer hit me like a bolt from a peacock's blue, beautiful tail. Friends? It's all about curiosity! How could I- oh my gosh, okay, apparently I need to go ahead and uh, have a mechanic come over here. <clears throat> but it's all about curiosity! And so then I thought, you know what? We need to set this place up to be extremely good on the education. Good. Glad that Clarissa Madison here actually had some good education. But also, what about going ahead and having it set up so that we could have little academies training academies for all sorts of field biologists and educators and we could work on that project i was telling you guys about where i would love to take some of these pre-built sets and have like quote unquote like almost like little shopping zones for them where i can just go and grab something very quickly when it is already constructed and we are trying to redo the entire zoo and i kept staring at these information boards and i kept thinking that's a lot of knowledge in one place what do I want to do with that? And I realized it'd be really fun to continue with that idea we talked about, giving staff different areas that kind of were like their own training zone. And we should have a little academy over here that could train educators. When I really stopped to think about it, I realized we also have not... Do we even have one educator? We have one educator, Mikey of the Zoo Keys, who's hanging out by the entrance and is only a little bit trained. And when I stop to really look at it, we actually haven't trained very much of our staff at all. And we only have three security guards! <laughs> We haven't trained very much of our staff at all, and the thing about the staff being trained is that they do a better job. They feel more relaxed. They're not as exhausted. Guests also have a great time, and if you happen to be- oh my gosh, there's a bazillion people for shops. I mean, of course I would need a bazillion people for shops if not even one of them has five-star experience after 105 years in our zoo. Ugh. So I thought it would be really fun to set up a little academy where we can go ahead and we can plunk down some educators. They can stay at the academy zone and we can just kind of keep going back to them over and over again to make sure that they will be fully trained and then we can assign them to a zone. And we can kind of do the same thing with other types of... Um, the staff positions as well. Like we could go ahead and have a farm where we could put in some of the really cool decorations that we could scatter around the zoo, like the jeeps that are full of fruit and the fruit baskets and all of those things. And kind of like a quote unquote shopping zone where we can just like dive in and duplicate it and run away again. And we could have the keepers train there before we release them back to wherever we want to assign them. And I think that's going to be kind of fun, and it will also make sure that we can pay attention to actually giving our staff kind of a break so that they can train up. And since we have almost two million dollars, I'm not really worried. <laughs> 
not really worried about the money, and I just got starry-eyed, thinking about a bunch of starry-eyed field biologists in training, popping out of a happy staff area over here, and then being able to come over and maybe, like, have a really beautiful area where we could, like, lift up the, the path a little bit and maybe have keeper talks held here. I don't know if the keeper talk won't work very well so far away from the peacocks uh, or anything else, but I just like that idea. And then even if we don't have um, the educators like constantly doing something, just, like going out and, and giving talks, maybe that will also help them bounce back into the staff room more often so that we can go ahead and we can actually like train them up faster. And basically I just thought it was a cute idea and a great way to grab a whole bunch of those education things and like kind of put them in a little semicircle over here. It'd be cute! And that's kind of what matters, right? Oh dear. All right, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, the pygmy hippos are fighting again? Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Um, Robinson, the young pygmy hippo male, is not dominant and he was fighting for dominance with his dad. So we're gonna release him to the wild. But, uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and do it. <laughs> I guess we will just go ahead and do it. We're gonna go ahead and we are actually going to close down the cupcake shop. I I know, I know. It's a little bit alarming, a little bit distressing. We're going to move the keeper hut temporarily over here. Um, I'll go ahead and move the staff room over here, just for a minute, just so it's like out of our way for a second. And then we're going to work on this mess of a path and try to put in like a really nice i kind of want to do like a tree house where we can have our educators train they could pop out of their their tree house like eager and happy and covered in leaves come down here and start yammering at everybody about like the wonders of trees people might start thinking that it's some sort of cult it, it's not it's not it's not it's just uh just you know very happy people let's see do we want to have like an I kind of do want to have a big semicircle over here that we could lift up and have as a talk zone. Okay, you know what? Oh my gosh, there's trash over in the construction area. This is why we have a messy construction area so that we can just go ahead and straight up move the entire thing. Ah, ah. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. I need the whole thing. The whole thing. Thank you very much. But this is why we have messy construction spots. So we can just like toss it down over here for a minute and then yes, I love the idea of having some sort of fun Some sort of fun lifted up path and I've actually been toying with the idea of maybe lifting this entire path right here So that we could put the water under it and we might have like some soft mist coming up to cool people off as they walk past the pea fowls so What kind of beautiful? stone work or ooh, ooh, the tiled stone path might be really good for that or the stone slate path hmm i think the stone slate more than anything because i really love that naturalistic look <gasps> if i really love the naturalistic look i guess i could just do terrain <laughs> and then make people like walk through the grass or on top of the soil or something to be able to go ahead and just like walk up into the area but i think we want to make it look a little nicer than that um so let's go ahead, maybe just some dirt for now, tree bark, tree bark. Hmm, hmm. This should not take me this long. The rustic path is nice too, but I really like how the stone slate, you can kind of squint and pretend you see moss there. I'm very big on anything that you could pretend you see moss with. Um, I suppose before I destroy this gigantic path, perhaps we should look into what kind of keeper I guess this would be a staff lounge. So this is going to be our school. Yes. Okay. So this is going to be our training place for, um, I guess, do we want to, the, the keeper of the leaves? That does sound kind of like a cult, but we're just going to say it's a club of people very happily interested and invested in going ahead and learning more about uh, how to, how to spread the good, the good word of leaves. <laughs> The leafy, the leafy lore. Oh, I love it! They're gonna be leafy lore keepers! Woo! Woo! That's a really cool jungle rock! See, this is what I'm talking about! We can have, like, the, the leafy lore jungle keepers jungle rocks, and then I can start using these as decoration. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And we won't have to act like everything needs to be built. Oh. Oh. From scratch every time. 
Because why? Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. This is so cool. I need to start naming some of these trees after like you guys and our patrons. And we could just say it's like tree sponsored by so-and-so. <gasps> Maybe that would help out with catching up on trees in our <laughs> for our Patreon perks. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and this is going to be um, Plop. So Plop, I love your name and thank you very much for saying that you enjoy our adventures. So this is going to be, um, let's see, Plops, I wonder if the apostrophe still work, works. Uh, Plops Towering View. There we go. Is that going to work? It finally is fixed! Huzzah! Oh, I don't even know when they started fixing that. And the pea fell are having babies again! Sharon! Sharon! We're welcoming in the next generation, Sharon! Oh my goodness! It's a gold starred! Oh, yes! Another gold starred female who happens to be wandering around. And this is going to be Lumi! Luminescent Lumi! Oh my gosh. Okay, probably spelled that wrong, but Luminescent Lumi, named after one of our fantastic patrons. Uh, wow. Nigh perfect. <gasps> the appeal is over a thousand! You get a little gold star. Or, well, I suppose a little, like, star text button. Um, because I don't think there's, like, a way to favorite animals yet, right? Right? I don't think so. Uh, no! Don't! No inbreeding lemurs! No inbreeding lemurs! I'll be back for you later. <laughs> I'm busy right now. Okay, and let's go ahead and name the others really quickly. We'll give them a little star if they're going to stay. I might go ahead and have the males be adopted out in the future, though. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I might need the males to be adopted out in the future because... Well, we'll see. We'll see. Whoever has high appeal is going to win. And this one's going to be Hydra! Hydra the dragon. Now you have become Hydra the peafowl. Uh, oh, and there's a lot of gold stars. I'm excited. And then we have Black Owl. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Black Owl, you have now become a peafowl. How are so many of you making it? Oh, no, Zelda, don't interpret, please. I, I know your, your father's showing off his fancy tail feathers, but still. Um, let's see. That's Dimitri. He's got 700 appeal, and then she's got 700, but Zelda, if you could not do that, that would be great. Uh, Zelda, you're 10 years old? Okay, my dear. You have a lot of appeal, so actually, I'm not going to go ahead and release you to the wild, uh, but we don't need we don't need any inbred babies, thank you. All right, and let me just go ahead and roll the random comment generator, picking from amongst you guys and your previous comments and our previous videos again. Uh, let's see. And this one's gonna be, um, Aline! Aline! Thank you very much for saying that you indeed love trees. I love trees too. We should add in some more. There we go. Is that all of you? I think that's all of you, because I'm pretty sure these guys just had the four siblings this time. Let's see. Okay, you have 26 siblings! <laughs> 26 of these are, are your siblings. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. Um, but we only have four of them here right now, and you're bonded. Oh, that's so cute! I love seeing how the social dynamics work now. Also, I just realized that our peafowls still don't have any... don't have any shelter. That's... oh, for crying out loud. All right, come on. Come on, is there like some sort of cool jungle shelter that I can provide to our animals? Uh, a restaurant, river, habitat... okay, ooh, jungle shelter! Whoa, that one's a little big. Okay, that one's a little big. How about... That's really cool. I like it. Um, but a little big again. Do we have, a, like, a cave? Like, I can just have a little peafowl cave. Okay, again, lovely, but a little large. Oh my gosh. This is what I get. This is what I get for... Okay, okay, maybe this one will work. Alright, maybe this one will work if I tuck it back here. Maybe down a little bit. Will our peafowl be able to rest in here? Is there enough resting spots for them? Maybe? I think I could remove one of the... I think... Okay, like I literally put this cave straight into <laughs> the mountain. Um, but there we go. I think that's gonna be good. They're coming in. That's a good sign, right? Ooh, this is actually kind of fun. Now I'm like chiseling away from the cave from the inside. Okay. All right, all right. Away you go. 
Hey, cool! Neat! I'm like a little miner! Almost as though I have thousands of episodes of experience in this interesting game called Minecraft. And they actually like getting out of the rain! Oh, I feel bad that I've just like left them to, to be like, ah, you're birds, you're alright. <laughs> Okay, well, back to the project that we were working on. I know for a fact that there was actually a really fascinating... Let me find it. Uh, there was a really fascinating... Aha! This one! I was kind of looking at this and thinking that this would be a cool... A cool piece to put in. But now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want a treehouse of some type. Jungle shelter. Whoa, okay, that's really cool. All right, come on, Siri. You can do this. I know I had something interesting. It wasn't this volcano exhibit. It wasn't this jungle toilet. <laughs> I could have sworn I had like a really cool looking treehouse. Let's see. So, oh, that's an animal treehouse. <gasps> what are you? Oh my gosh. Can you imagine how cool that would be? If you could go and you could train in this treehouse and then get to come down and just start telling people about how cool like the natural world is. I would want to be a Levy lore keeper if this was the Le Oh, come on. You have a view of like the entire zoo. This, this is glorious. I love this. So this is Tarzan's treehouse. Who knows who made it? I wish, I wish upon a fish that we could actually get a little info about that um it's not quite as like wild jungly as i thought but we can fix that by throwing on a whole bunch of of like ferns and things like that and then we could kind of hide one of the staff houses like in here and we can just set it so that it will be a educational area for our staff and uh i like it do i want to do do i want to okay maybe if we turn it like this then both of those little bridges. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. How do people have any right being this talented? I have no idea, but it's it's the Leafy Lorekeeper's treehouse. I'm taking it. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> and it's not, wow. It's not actually, um, interesting. Not actually a one piece. I probably should have put it together somewhere else first. But let's change the colors of the flag because, of course, we need it to be green for the leafy lore keepers. Oh dear, now I want to make that an actual thing, like in our, in our. Okay, what's what's going on over here? Oh <gasps> yes, more greenery! But I want to make the leafy lore keepers an actual thing in our Planet Zoo series. I'm gonna need to to discuss this with our patrons. Oh, maybe even with Alari, our artist, and maybe get something cool like leafy lore keeper club badge little pin little wooden pin so it's at least mildly more eco-friendly all right all right almost there siri almost there okay so now that we have created the leafy lore keepers facade and we will slowly but surely transform it into even more of a leafy lore location uh, should we do like maybe yeah we'll do some some white little diamonds right there thank you very much this is so cool I love that. We'll continue to work on this and make it so that we can go ahead and I think like we'll remove the chimney. We'll cover it in more plants soon. But now we can kind of wiggle around and hide a staff lounge. I hope. Hopefully. Like very... Uh, now that I think about it, I'm, I'm kind of investing a lot in, in assuming I can just sort of hide a staff lounge back there. Um, but let me go ahead and see. I guess we would want a large one. Now that I think about it, what's the, like, the maximum number of staff that these little ones can hold? I've never really stopped to think about that. Like, staff room. Yeah, I've got my staff room, but how many, like, how many staff go in a, in the, the small staff room? This is too small for the leafy lore keepers. I don't know how I'm going to make it happen, but we're going to put down, like, the Leafy Lore Keeper Academy somewhere over here. Oh, no! <laughs> Have I been thwarted? I've been thwarted by the freaking... <sighs> There's some frogs inside of this mountain. I know that's a, like, very 
See, I told you, frogs inside of this mountain. Gosh darn! Ah, uh, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to be careful on that side. Uh, but maybe, you know what? Can I do two smalls? <gasps> What's stopping me from doing two small ones, huh? Huh? Nothing. Absolutely nothing except for the actual pathing, which is a pain in the behookus, but uh, what else is new? Um, also, uh, hey, you, you, uh, maybe, uh, add to existing building, mm, I mean, maybe? Okay, that didn't help anything. Alright, hold still, hold still, think pathy thoughts, think, think, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, there, okay, you're the right height, hold still and think thoughts of connecting to this path, please, if you please. Okay. Okay, we've got we've got a little we've got a connection there. Can I can I get two connections? I'll hide it all with lots and lots of potential trees and rocks. Okay, there's one. We can have two academies. There we go. And now let me see if I can desperately connect that somehow. And this is this is Leafy Lore Keepers only territory. Thank you very much. Um you know, you can't... No, it's it's private private membership. Uh, how to join? I'm not sure how you join, actually. The Leafy Lore Keepers. Yes! <gasps> okay. It doesn't... Hang in there. I know it doesn't look like this is somewhere <laughs> really fancy just yet. But this is going to be Leafy Lore Keeper Academy. Um, uh, like... I guess we could name it after different... <gasps> Ooh, Leafy Lore Keeper Academy. Um, we'll go ahead and this will be the section for uh, Oology, the study of eggs, which is perfect because it's right next to the peafowl. And this one's going to be Leafy Lore Keeper. Um, botany? Why not? Well, well, I guess botany would actually be more of a study. Okay, Leafy Lore Keeper. Because botany would be more of the study of trying to go ahead and get the gardening down. So let's do um, or in ornithology because that's going to be the study of uh, our birds. Okay, so, so far so good. Facility has power and we're gonna turn it into a learning resource. Ta-da! So these will be learning resources and that will allow our staff to go ahead and get trained up a lot faster. And we'll go ahead and hide it under a whole bunch of cool jungle things in just a second here. Because I'm pretty sure I've got like some amazingly talented people who made... Ooh, look at that archway. Ooh! <laughs> you know, who made stuff like this? Where you could just... Ooh, that's really cool. Where you could just go ahead and you could grab yourself a section of scenery, cross your fingers, and cover up uh, any of your... Very interesting, yet supposed to be very secret sections of your park. Where, you know, the leafy lore keepers are just going to mysteriously emerge from over here. This actually isn't that bad. I kind of, I probably should get in here and like cover it up with actual mossy rocks first though, huh? <laughs> Alright, well I'll go ahead and cover that up with mossy rocks in just a second. But let's go ahead and plunk down a few of our first educators who are going to start studying at the Leafy Lore Academy. Mm -hmm. Leafy Lore Treehouse. Oh, I cannot wait for the flex of color so that we can go ahead and we can give everybody like different, different swaggy shirts to indicate who they are. Uh, oh, and we're going to want to set a work zone first. So Leafy Lore Keepers for now are just going to stay here and this is going to be leafy lore keeper um academy and then uh oh my gosh <sighs> let's see academy oh uh, we're just gonna whatever uh okay so that should yeah leafy lore keeper academy this will be where they train and let's grab a couple of our leafy lore keepers and then we'll have to check in on the uh the, okay, the lemurs are stressed again. We'll get there. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna hire. How about let's go? Let's go wild. Let's go ahead. We're gonna start with at least. We're gonna start with five. We're gonna start with five educators, and I'm going to grab them all and try to put them in the Leafy Lore Academy <laughs> before they can get away. 
yes, I'm going to do it manually because it's good to introduce yourself to everyone. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll have that really awkward part of class that like, oh, my beloved husband Chips is amazing because he's a professor or like when he was a professor, I should say, because now he's helping me out with our pixel biology stuff, which is a different kind of professorship, I suppose. But he never made people do that awkward name thing where you're supposed to like <laughs> exchange really odd like facts about yourself and try to remember everybody's name no thank you all right so we'll go ahead and we're gonna train everybody here hopefully my job is pretty average well don't worry you'll you'll be you'll be pretty excited okay and then i think i need to select her again come on come on can you okay okay say it in, if you could maybe move i think that the educators are just kind of like i'm just kind of doing stuff here are you guys gonna go inside Oh, are you waiting for other stuff to get out? Or is it just because there's a tree in the way? <laughs> How many people can go in here? I might really have to continue to work on this, huh? Oh, four people each. Duh, it's right there with capacity. Um, I think they're waiting for, like, everybody else to get out of the way. Huh. All right, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's name the Leafy Lore Keepers, and then we will see if my master plan idea for going ahead and actually, like, training them in one spot very quickly all together is going to work or not. So, without further ado, I would like to go ahead and I would like to welcome our Leafy Lore Keepers. The first one being... Let's see... Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Pulling up, ah, Hannah! So Hannah of the Leafy Lore Keeper, oh my gosh, Mars the Timberwolf is about to die of old age. Hannah, Leafy Lore Keeper. Um, I, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to mourn our wolf later, but thank you very much for all of the people who are about to get named, helping out all of our adventures here on the Pixel Biology channel. Then we have Petals in her hair. Petals in her hair, welcome. You are also Leafy Lore Keeper. I love that I can give you really, really long names. Uh, and then we're going to have, let's see, Kennedy. So Kennedy, welcome. Oh, Fire Phoenix, sorry about that. Okay, uh, eh, eh, eh. there we go. Fire Phoenix. And you're going to be Leafy Lore Keeper. I guess they'll get individual places when we assign them to their future, like, animal that they can bond with. And then we also have... Dun, 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 dun. Little Elf! Little Elf, welcome, welcome. I, I, I'm beginning to wonder if because everybody is idle. <laughs> Maybe you learn better on the job, Tuline? I hope that you can maybe help us out with figuring that out too. Cause yeah, maybe maybe you just learn better on the job. Alright. There appear to be some hiccups in running my new school, but at least we're trying. <laughs> I'm going to get some of the moss stones down and then we will be back to kind of tidy this area up and decorate. Put in a very large area for animal talks, and I guess we could just have no GG, please don't interbreed. Oh dear. Okay. And I guess we could go ahead and we could have um, multiple animal talks going on at the same time over here. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I, I truly do. I think we're going to have a really great time setting this up and making it so that we can have the Leafy Lore Keepers trained. And I really love this tree. This is the beginning of a new era of trees all over the Pixel Sanctuary. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this somewhat chaotic adventure as usual. If you'd like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, like, if uh, make sure you bend at the, the knees when you start hauling your mossy rocks around, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye